hey, now is a beautiful time to think about the amusement park of life. You got a little extra time, okay? Now, a long time ago, I got this funny vision. I was sitting in a high apartment building looking over a city, and I had this vision of these special parks in the city, and I thought, you know, if the parents don't help the children get into the parks, the children will sneak in on their own and do it in a messed up way. The three parks were the private garden park of the Holy Spirit. See, I went to churches that didn't talk about the Holy Spirit and power. And the private park of garden park of marriage and how cool all that stuff is and how you were designed to share yourself with somebody, which is wonderful. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. It's fantastic. And the private garden park of singleness, being single like Jesus. I was never introduced to those three parks in the big city of life, so I wandered around stupid because I didn't know about those things. Now, uh, the Holy Spirit has extended this to a, this fun game. Okay, this is the amusement park of life. Okay, when you go into an amusement park, you only got so much money in, you can only got so much time, and you can only go on so many rides. Right now, you got extra time. Now, look out. There's tons and tons of rides. There's the ride of friends, hanging out with friends. There's a ride of movies. There's a ride of music. There's a ride of church. I mean, I went to a church that actually didn't teach me some of the most important stuff about the future. There's, a, there's the amusement park of school and education. There's the amusement park of career and making money. There's all of these rides. You can go look at the ride and like, hmm, do I want to buy the ticket for that one? Wow, that was good. I want to get on that one. I want to get on that one. I want to get on this one. I want to get on this one. I want to get on that one. Okay, now, the rides that people are ignoring that are so cool. Because they actually connect with the next realm. Remember, this life is about one-third of reality. And the invisible realm and the eternal realm is about two-thirds of reality. So the stuff that you can't see is more important. So ride one, Holy Spirit in power. Walk around that ride. Understand that ride. Get on. But if you don't spend the money on the ticket, if you don't take the time, see, your time and your focus is how you pay in life. You actually pay, and you can lose your money by paying money, by paying your time to things that are empty and worthless. So if you look at the Holy Spirit and Power ride, and you decide to spend your time and your effort and focus and study on the Holy Spirit, oh my gosh! Amazing things in you you can heal people, you can raise people from the dead. Don't worry about viruses, just be ready to to heal people and send spirits away. Ride number two, the teachings of friend Yeshua God. Jesus is not an enemy. He says, you know, I am God in human form and I call you guys friends, and I want to give you a spirit, a spirit that overcomes death, the eternal spirit. This life, Jesus is our friend. This world is not our friend. This world is our enemy. Honestly, career and school and church and music and movies and friends, they can be total enemy to us. Yeshua God is friend. And connecting with Yeshua God first and his teachings and his way of thinking about stuff allows you to be safe in this crazy world. Okay, ride number... Th now, you got to look at that ride and it takes time. It takes time to learn, to ask questions, to pull up videos, to listen to people, to read, to just calm down and read. And when you calm down and learn about these things... You will be given time. It's so funny. You will be given so much peace. You won't be stressed out. You won't be worried. And you'll be so appreciative that you have time to get on these rides. You're taking, you're paying for the ticket with the time of your life. And also ride three, sent ones, truth speakers, disciples, elders, teachers. It's so cool because heaven itself sends people to you who know their stuff about God and heaven and eternity. It's real tangible information. 
and there are people who are actually flowing with the presence of the eternal God heaven inside of them by the Holy Spirit, who know the teachings of friend Yeshua God. There's plenty of people in, in, uh, in church, there's plenty of people in church who are not fully aware of the Holy Spirit and power, and not fully aware of the teachings of friends of Yeshua God, because there's some detailed teachings that he gave for the new covenant. There's a new way of interacting with the highest creator God. So, sent ones, truth speakers, disciples, elders. Who is your sent one? That's one of the most important things to ask a, a, you know, a believer type person. Who was your first sent one? Who was the first person that started introducing to you, you to God and eternity and spirit beings and all the truth and the writings? Okay, so those are three rides. Then there's this, uh, there's this other ride, the body ride. You have a body. And either your body is going to be one flesh with another body where two bodies get to ride together. And oh, it feels so wonderful. It's so nice to have somebody to hold on to and look at you and rub notice, noses with and giggle and, and care about you and follow you around and, and hug you and give you loving kindness. So your body ride, you either have a one flesh, two body ride of marriage or you have the single body ride, singleness like Jesus. Now, in the new covenant teachings of friend Yeshua God, the time is very short. This world is about to be destroyed. And being single like Jesus has a lot of benefits. But, again, these are two rides and you got to pick one. You got to pick one. You got to pick one. And you have to pay. You have to pay for the ticket of this thing or that thing. What is the payment? What is the payment for the two, one flesh, two body ride, marriage? The payment is you have to care for your spouse and you will be distracted by your spouse. And when your, your spouse is, has troubles or sins and they fall down in the mud and they're stuck and they're bitter and sad and scared, you actually have to fall down in the mud with them and stop your program. And care about them as your own form, your own body. And not just break away from them, but actually be the one who cares. So your work, you're running forward with Yeshua. Remember, Yeshua said, I came into this world to go from place to place and to touch as many people as possible. I came to this world to go from place to place and interact with as many people as possible. And you can do that just on the web. Hallelujah. So the payment for the one flesh, two body ride where you get to share your arousal and your body pleasure with somebody, this is, this, you're designed for that. Your body was designed to be enjoyed by somebody. And it's not just for making children, it's also for enjoyment. God made the enjoyment. Yippee, it's so nice. It's the, the pleasure is the glue that keeps the marriage stuck together. Okay, and with the marriage, you get to share arousal, you get children, you get to be overseer or shepherd status in, in the home communion group, because it is written, an overseer to the communion group should have children who clearly everybody can see are full of the Holy Ghost, full of inspiration, and in a peaceable, you know, goodness kind of life. That's the measure of a person, how they can lead somebody in their own home, how they can lead somebody in their own home. Okay, so the payment for the one flesh, two body ride is care of spouse and distractions. In 1 Corinthians 7, verse 28, it says, if you marry, you will have lots of troubles. Okay, and it also says that when you get married, your interests are going to be pulled away from God, and you're not going to be, do, be able to do quite as much for God as you wanted to. But it doesn't mean that you're a loser. It's just a different ride in this difficult world. Remember, this whole world is going to be ruined, and eternity is going to be, God is going to rebuild everything. Okay, so now the payment for the singleness like Jesus ride, you will pay... You won't have a marriage bed and comfort and spouse pleasure. You don't have somebody to snuggle with and enjoy whenever you want to. 
but you will have more travel, more time for prayer, more miracles, able to live like angels in the heaven, and you get to be the favorite aunties and uncles in the families and with the children and showing people how to be the prayer team. And I mean, you're going to have a special, special brightness and people are going to be extra, extra amazed with you because that is part of the teachings of friend Yeshua God. So these are, I mean, you can just stay in the amusement rides of the world, the red ones, and you can completely be disconnected from the eternal stuff, or you can pay with your time, and you can, Holy Spirit and power, and the teachings of friend Yeshua God, and connect with disciples and truth speakers, and elders and teachers, but then, if you're in this ride, the one of the first things you have to understand is you got to pick one of these. Remember, Jesus was a child. He was a child, and he went straight into singleness as an adult, and he never had a marriage bed. He never had the marriage bed pleasure time. He just went straight forward into an amazing life, and you can do that too. That is one of the things that's written in the early church writings. It says, make every effort to take on the whole burden of Christ, meaning singleness and a traveling ministry and, you know, a constant care for people and teaching. Make every effort to take on the whole burden of the Jesus life. But if you can't, do what you can. He's saying, look, you know, marriage, you're designed for marriage. Go ahead and take a marriage if that's what the God and, and every, you know, if that's what God is, that's what you're being called to. So there's the amusement park of life. Yippee. Now you have some time to think about these things. Go pay with your time. Learn, learn, learn. Saturate. Receive the peace.